Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is how to put the same person into the same shot multiple times. The first thing you're going to need is your camera mounted on a tripod or on a flat surface where it's not going to move. Uh, we need the background to not move as well, so if you've got a really windy day and you're outside and the trees are moving, it will make it just that little bit harder. If you've got a kite flying in the sky or something like that and it's moving between the scenes, that's going to also make it very hard. And the last thing we need to try and make sure is that the lighting source stays the same. So if it's a cloudy day, that's okay. If it's a sunny day, that's okay. But if the clouds are moving across the sun, then it will be obvious about the little trick that you're about to do uh, has been done. So sit back, relax, and uh, we'll get started on showing you how to make a video with one person appearing multiple times in the one shot using Corel Video Studio 6. Now this is my first uh, video tutorial so bear with me for a moment. Um, I'm going to have a crack at it and if it doesn't come out as good I really love some feedback. So the first thing this is about how to make a video that has the same person appear multiple times in the one scene. So first thing I need to do is I needed to record myself three times and as you can see from the scrubber, I've sat myself there and I've listened and I've, I've talked to the camera. You can see I've talked to the camera here just a little little bit and then I've turned and looked like I'm looking at somebody who's uh, on the other side of the table. Now if we move along a little bit you'll see that I actually get up and I move over and I pretend to be listening to me talking the first time and then I turn and look at the camera and talk about the second time that I'm talking and if you remember the first part of the video I was there listening to me talking at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all break the video up into its two different components so that I can have it sitting there and I'm even going to try and little be, be a little bit adventurous and uh, bring me in for a third time just around the top just to see if it works or not, who knows, we'll have a bit of fun with it. So the first thing we're going to do is to break the original video down into three parts. Now you can see that uh, on the video here that uh, I'm not in the shot and then I arrive in the shot and sit down and I know that around the 18, 19 second mark I made my first mistake so I've clapped and I'm going to edit that out uh, because uh, it doesn't look great. So here we are, we just click, there's my clap so I know that uh, that's where my first mistake is so I'm going to remove that from there. Now without going through this I've broken this down into three components already so uh, you can see that I've got them up here, they are one, two and three. So this is uh, video one which has got me sitting down uh, talking to the camera without another person so cool being ideas. there. So first thing I need to do is I need to split this video into half. So I do that using the uh, the cropping component in the uh, FX area. So uh, the way I want to crop this is going into options, customize the filter, and I want it to be the same height all the way through. So I'm going to make that 100% and I want it to be stationary and at the other end I also want it to be at 100% so it is. Now because I'm trying to remove half of this video I want to try and put it into the, the, the line about where the dividing wall ends. So I'm going to just slide this over to the end there I actually probably don't need to do this for the first video, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I think we're sitting at about 48. No, we can go a bit shorter than that. But that'll be fine, because the other one's going to sit over the top. All right, so we'll click OK. Then we'll bring down our second video, which has me sitting on the other side of the table, pretending that I'm looking and listening to myself there. So there I am sitting all by myself. So I'll bring the second one down into the second video spot. I need to make sure that it is as large as the other screen. Now, I want to go through the same process. I want to bring in the cropping and I want to reduce the size of that. 
So back into options, customize the filter. Remember we've got to have the height at 100%. And, oh, I've hit enter rather than fix it. Okay, so now we want to have this at about 62. And that means that when we move our picture over, we're going to get our line somewhere around that wall divider. Bear with me for a second while I get that right. So I want it to be here. So I'm going to reduce the size of it a little bit. I might make it 58. See how we're going? No, down a little bit more. 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 Okay, now I've chosen that spot because you can... Well, no, I want it to be a bit bigger. Hang on, bear with me for a second because it was moving on the wrong side. Um, I want that spot to be in that line there because when it's there, when the two join together, you will actually see that there is a join. So we just uh, want to be able to use a natural line in the picture. So we've made it stationary and we want it to be 56 at the other end as well. So bring it up here and we'll change this one to 56 and we'll click OK. Now, what we need to do is get rid of this black spot so we use our mask and chroma key here and then we choose the color black because that's the one we want to get rid of and then we're going to drag this right down to zero and that'll bring back and you can see already that we've got two people sitting in the same shot or me sitting twice in the same shot. So at this point we should be able to now just click play and uh, listen to me talking. So we're going to use Corel Video Studio to show you how to put the same person... And there you go. You've got two people sitting side. in there. And I did say that I was going to be a little bit adventurous and I've had a crack at putting a, a third spot in the end here. First thing I have to do is uh, put that in there because I didn't sit there looking at myself long enough. So getting towards the end here, I, uh, I tried to do a third shot where I stick my head around the corner and uh, I know that that's our mark there so we need to make this as big as the other video spot on and then uh, I want to use our FX and our cropping tool again in there change the cut or customize the filter so I want it to be 100 in height, 100% in height. And then I, I only want it to be about 30 because I only want that little component over the end here where I stick my head around the corner. Now, you will note though that what I've done is I've made a mistake. I had my second person sitting here and of course they were sitting in the chair and the chair was back. So that actually means that it's going to come over that area. So it's not going to look exactly like it should do because I didn't quite factor that in. So you can see how it is quite simple to make a mistake. We need to put our mask chroma, chroma key on again and bring that down to zero. And look, you can see there that uh, the back of the chair is missing. So it's not quite exactly what I wanted it to be. And so the idea was that I would turn and look and see a third person sticking their head around the corner. Into the same shot have multiple times. Three people in the shot, that's right. There we go. So um, that's what you can do. You can certainly have multiple people in the one shot. ...to what they're saying. So we're going to use Corel Video Studio to show you how to put the same person, me, into the same shot multiple so times. So to do that, we need the person to first of all be recorded saying something and then sitting there listening, looking like they're listening to the second person have something to say. So this allows us to split the video down the middle. So what I'm going to do once we get into the editing mode in Corel Video Studio is I'm actually going to place a split down the middle of this table but because we've used one shot to record this and nothing is moving in the background we will be able to close off some of the frame and make it look like there is two people sitting at this table. If I was for instance though to reach across into the second half you'd probably see 
my hand disappear. So we don't want to do that. We want to work out exactly beforehand where our line is. The other thing we don't want to do is to have the light change. So if we turn off this light, you'll see now that in one half of the video we've got the person sitting in light and in the second part of the video they're sitting in the dark. So it doesn't look the same. So we need the light back on. Of course to do this you can also try and split it into three or four times depending on the width of field that you're actually using. So we could have three people in the shot. That's right. So let's get editing. <laughs> 